trying to do a little yoga this morning, but uh, Miss Muffin has other ideas about what I should be doing. Do not, do not do that. I just trimmed her claws. She's really mad about it. She wants to sharpen them right back up. Uh, yeah, it's Sunday morning. I should be at the flea market, but I'm not because it's just yuck outside. It's cold. It's windy. It's kind of rainy again. So, I don't know what she wants. It's not food time. <laughs> and just a few things I got listed today. Um, I get this Mexican silver signed modernist brooch from the 1950s probably signed by Revan R-E-V-E-N and I listed that for 85 free shipping I listed this listener pink Aurora Borealis rhinestone necklace choker I listed that for 48 free shipping uh, I listed this Red Cross first aid kit which I think probably dates from the 1930s. The reason I think that is mostly because of the, it's going to be upside down, but the bathing costume that this guy is wearing is, you know, with the tank top and the, sh and the shorts. And um, those went out of style in the 30s, so I don't know. I, I think 1930s is a good guess for this. And then the last thing I listed was the Art Deco lamp that I showed you in my last haul video, which is downstairs in the living room, so I'll try to pop a picture in to show you. I listed that for $75. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning, the day after Memorial Day. Had a big, big sales weekend. Sometimes holiday weekends are really good, sometimes they're not, but um, it seems like they're always one or the other. Uh, anyway, I've got uh, nine, ten sales to show you, I think. So, here we go. Um, I'll show you the jewelry first. I sold um, this green mid century moon glow choker necklace, and that sold for $24. Uh, this Greek themed medallion has a it's brass it's very heavy has a warrior on one side and a horsey on the other and uh, that sold for 24. I was very pleased that I sold this cuff. I did shine it up. Look how pretty and sparkly it is. I just love this. It's by Two Trees. Two Trees being a Tosco workshop, not an individual artist. I've discovered, and there is it is marked by the artist, but I don't know who the artist is, just that he worked at Two Trees. But anyway, uh, Beautiful sold that for $99 free shipping, and I did pay $60 for that, so I was very pleased that I could flip it quickly. And this is another Native American, another, a Native American piece. It is signed by Scott Dave. It's all pierced and hand stamped and worked, just beautiful work. Um, that sold for 27 free shipping. Sold this antique carved flower cameo. I have no idea why the price on this was so low. It's sterling silver. It's really old. It's really nice. Um, and that sold for 32. Gosh, I just give people good deals sometimes, don't I? <laughs> um, this. If, if you've been watching my haul videos for a while, you might remember that I um, I just fell in love with this pendant. It's Victorian art glass. It's just so beautifully made. It had a chip on it, but I bought it anyway because I just thought it was so beautiful. So I sold that for $45. If somebody else thought it was beautiful also, and I'm happy it's going to another home. And... This uh, mid-century kind of faux black pearl and rhinestone. Is it rhinestones? Yeah, they're like little Aurora Borealis rhinestones. Really neat big piece. Um, and that sold for $18. And uh, then I had some 
bigger pieces that sold. This mid-century fishy bowl sold for 22. Oh. Uh, a set of nesting bowls. They're absolutely beautiful. I love the glaze on this bowl. So pretty. Uh, they're, they're not signed or anything. I think they're almost certainly California pottery. They came from my mother-in-law and she collected California pottery. So, uh, she, she knows her stuff. Um, but that whole, that set sold for 19. And then the last thing is this sweet little hand-painted Portugal plate. Just so darling with the building and the laundry and everything. And that sold for 15. That came from my mother-in-law also. So those are my sales. Getting ready to pack them up. So my flea market haul from Sunday was so small that I'm just going to pop it into one of my vlogs because it, it's a little small to have its own video. Uh, we got rained out again. It, it does not rain here in May that much, but boy, always on flea market day. So let me show you what I got real quick. Um, this, I think, is probably the coolest piece I got. This is a brass medallion, but I think it's pretty old. This, it's on a beaded necklace, and it just, it just looks, it's, it's old. <laughs> it's really pretty, and it's really long. I think it could be from the 1920s. Um, it's just really, really a neat looking piece. Anyway, I only paid three dollars for that. I was very excited about that. And uh, this is a genuine Victorian. Ooh, excuse my nails. Uh, Victorian brooch. You can see the C clasp there. It's probably well Victorian or Edwardian. It's probably early 20th century, and it's a little hand painted porcelain brooch with the little blue flowers. So sweet. I paid five dollars for that. Um. Got this. Let's see if I can get it to focus. A multi stone ring. It's got green, red, and blue stones plus marcasites. Appears to be older. Um, I went ahead and tested the stones, and lo and behold, emeralds, rubies, and sapphires. Now they're not super high quality. <laughs> In fact, they're pretty cloudy, and I don't know about the sapphires. I haven't looked that closely at them. They're very dark, but yeah, it was kind of a surprise. Um, there's the back of it. Uh, anyway, and that is sterling silver, and um, I believe I paid ten for that. This is a nice mid-century um, sterling silver Mexican. It's by Oro, signed by Oro, made in Mexico. Silver, that's like an old style mark when they just put silver. So it's 1940s or earlier. It's quite tarnished. I, I think I am going to polish it a little bit. I know you're not supposed to do that, but sometimes I just don't think the part, tarnish is very attractive. I won't completely polish it up, but a little bit. Anyway, I thought that was beautiful. $15 for that. Um, this is a fun piece, a little kitty cat dangling pendant with, uh, I believe that's carnelian, and uh, it is sterling silver, and it is signed by, uh, what does that say, Ben J. Chavez, sterling, and uh, it is in fact a Navajo piece. It doesn't really look like a Navajo piece, but it is. He's Navajo. So um, I got that for $10. I think that's not too bad. It has a nice chain on it, too. This, I just thought was interesting as I'll get out. This is Woodman of the World, which is a fraternal organization. A little enamel maple leaf, so it's, I believe, from Canada, on a carved gold stone. And I paid $10 for that. I think it's pretty old, though. 
just thought it was super interesting looking. Just don't see that every day. I got this uh, really nice big sterling silver dome ring. I paid 15 for that. The last one of these sold very quickly. Now it seems like I had something else. Where did it go? I thought I had another silver piece. That came from my buddy Alex. I didn't shoot any video at the flea market because I managed to leave my phone at home. Uh, this is a mid-century, probably right around 1960, uh, coin charm bracelet. And they're coins from all over the world, which is super fun. And, um, you know, I don't think anything's valuable, but these, I have sold these in the past. They seem to do pretty well, and I paid $5, I think, for that. Oh, no, I did not pay $5 for that. I paid $5 for these three things together from my buddy Mary, who kindly gave me a good deal because it was raining. So, that, I got this tarling little wooden dog. It's got a C-class, but I'm pretty sure this is, like, old. I have another little dog brooch that I've had for sale for a while that has not sold. These don't sell for a whole lot, but I just, it was so cute. Look at his little glass eye. Well, maybe I'll put the two doggy brooches together. I don't know. And then this is another doggy piece. This is a bolo tie. It's brass. It's quite oxidized. I'm going to have to work on it. With this reverse carved glass uh, fox terrier, wire haired terrier. Uh, not sure. I have found some other pieces like a bracelet uh, with this same kind of thing in it. None of them selling for a whole lot. I hadn't seen the bolo tie though. I think that's really cute. It's on just a, a cloth cord, but it's it's nice. It's so cute. Look at his little face. Um, and, you know, that was a good bargain. And that's it for all the jewelry, unless I can figure out what happened to that. Oh, I, I think maybe it was this ring. Yeah, so I'm, I might have actually paid 15 for this and not 10, which is a lot, but that's okay. Um, I only got three other pieces. I got this, well three other vintage pieces, but this is not even vintage. I discovered um, that this is not. It's probably made in like 2013, so I'm going to sell that on eBay and what that is. It's just it's just wax or something. Um, these don't sell for a whole lot, and I so I way overpaid for this. I paid 15 for it, you know, thinking maybe it was going to be old. And hourglasses do seem to sell. Uh, I've sold a lot of hourglasses. They seem to sell very quickly. But this one not being vintage, I don't know. But it's pretty cool. I think it, it times about 30 minutes. And uh, this is a Murano glass napkin holder. Made in Italy. Uh, really good condition. I hadn't seen one of these before, but when I looked them up, uh, there's quite a few of them out there, and they don't sell for a whole lot. Um, fortunately, I only paid $5 for it, so that's about in line. It'll be okay. And then I got this uh, pewter picture frame. The nice easel back. Um, it is Heritage Metalworks, Inc. Obviously, it's not super old, but it is made in the USA. And anytime I can pick up a picture frame for not too much, oops, could come out apart there. I, I, I like my picture frames. Yeah, I won't sell for a whole lot, but it'll be okay. It's nice looking. Uh, what did I pay for that? Three dollars? I think I paid three dollars for that. And then the last thing I got was stop cats from destroying furniture. Sticky paws. It's basically big pieces of double-sided tape. It's not not anything very high-tech. I paid a, a buck for a package of them. Uh, to, there's just one little place on the sofa that Muffin seems to like to 
claw. She's already put a hole in my sofa. But that's a, this is a really old sofa. I'm going to have to get a new one one of these days. But I'm not ready to do it yet. Okay. So uh, that is it for my little haul. So here I am at uh, the medical center. Just got done with my mammogram. Yes, maybe this is a little oversharing, but um, it's my last medical thing I have to get done this year. Done all my eye doctors, my dentists, all that stuff. Well, I'll have another dentist appointment, but yeah, feels good to get it all done. And uh, I, I took the bus. I have a little walk ahead of me to get to the bus stop. This parking here is expensive and troublesome, so I usually take the bus. I have a bus stop right across the street from my house. It's very nice. Of course, I have to listen to the buses come by all day and night, but eh, it's okay. And here are a few things that I got listed today. I listed these adorable little moccasins. Um, put them on eBay. Um, started them at auction at $80. Uh, listed this sterling silver dome ring for $45 free shipping. And I listed this funky leather hand painted brooch. It looks like it has a dragon on it. It's like brand new. Uh, I couldn't find anything like it anywhere. Even though I have this very informative tag that tells me it was made in Florence, Italy. It tells me the name of it and everything. So I don't know. I just listed it for $15 because I didn't know what else to do. Uh, I listed this antique Bible with a 1908 inscription. How tiny that type is. I listed that for $24. And that's it. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning, and I'm showing you what I am getting ready to ship off. Um, this is a beautiful Navajo ring. It's all these different kinds of turquoise. It's a really cool shape and everything. And I sold this to one of my very best customers from New Zealand, and the cost is $75. And I sold this sterling silver puffy heart. It is signed SD. I don't know who that is, but it's a very pretty little necklace, and that sold for $24. I had another sale as well of a little rhinestone choker, but I cannot find it. I'm so irritated with myself. I don't know what I did with it. It's just not in the normal place it should be. This happens to me every so often. It's very, very frustrating. I try to be so careful with my inventory about where I store it and how I organize it, but somehow things just get mislaid so you have to cancel the order issue a refund and send a note of apology and just feel bad about it all day <laughs> so anyway that's me this morning good morning it is thursday morning and these are a few items that i listed yesterday afternoon that's the rs prussia teapot dates from around the turn of the previous century and many thanks to living the good life check out her youtube channel she is an rs prussia expert and she helped me identify the pattern and the mold and i listed that for 45 dollars and i really couldn't find anything out about this art tile it's so wonderful i'm guessing it dates from the 1960s I did find, you know, some sort of similar style art tiles from that era, but nothing that I could really make any kind of firm attribution at all. Not signed, but I just think it's so cool. And I listed that for um, 32 And uh, this is kind of funny. I told you that this was made by Oro, and there is a, a, a silversmith called Oro, Mexican silver. But this is actually Coro. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. You may have seen the mark earlier and thought, how could she not notice that that is Coro? The C is mostly rubbed out. But that's what it is. Um, and um, Coro had an agreement with the silversmith Hector Aguilar from 1943 to 1950 to make this jewelry. So. That is the date of it, and Hector Aguilar is a very, very 
well-respected silversmith. So that's pretty cool. And I listed that for $49, free shipping. And but I listed it for $39, free shipping. And I'm going to show you what I am getting ready to pack up, what I sold. And Muffin is here to help me show you what I sold. Um, I sold this, this is very old Mexican silver little critter. I don't really know exactly what this critter is. He's very cute though. He could be a turtle, like a snapping turtle with a long tail. Um, I believe that this stone is jade. Really neat. Um, sold that for 41. Hi. Uh, sold this uh, really cute seed bead multi chain necklace. That I sold for um, 18. Yes, 18. And then I sold these um, Edwardian era butter knives. They do have an S monogram on them. They're very pretty. Uh, the set sold for $25. They are Gorm Silver, dating, uh, the pattern dates from 1906. So, sometime shortly after that, I imagine. And uh, I have a bunch more of this listed. So, that's it.